and today's dizzy host, no, not Boris. Charlene. She's a part-time beautician. What will you be cooking today, Charlene? A salad. Oh, okay. Um, so, you're going to get on with it? I got this salad in Tesco, so I'll just put my own ingredients in. This is like this tomato sauce, so put quite a lot of that in. Um, basically, just give that a toss around. That should be done. Got this Cafe Nelson. Quite. Is that for your guests? Yeah. For my starter, I got these dolphin potatoes. They're like, I don't know, dolphin y, dolphin no. Yeah, that's. I basically just put potatoes in a bowl. I haven't cooked them, just. Yeah, so I'll give one of them each to my guests, and that'll be it. Well, for my dessert, I just got a few little biscuits and a few grapes because. Like, who actually eats dessert? That's so last year. Like, it's just all about this now. Like, yeah, so I don't have a biscuit, there's only three because I don't want one. I'll just have a few grapes. Um, what's this? Dolphin potato. Mmm, delicious. What's this? Frenzy cutlery? I want a proper knife. <sighs> Just like my ancestors. Slaughtering on the battlefield. So, what did you think of Charlene's night? Charlene? Will? I don't think she gave us enough food. I mean, I mean, I don't eat that much, and I wouldn't mind if she gave us like a heart of a goat. You know, I wouldn't mind as long as it was food. So I'm gonna give her a 28. It's a really lovely lady, and her eyelashes were fab. So I'm gonna give her an eight and seven fifteenths. So Glenn, how did you like Charlene's meal? Well, I was outraged because. All she gave me was a potato, and then, then no meat, no, it was all cooked, nothing, it's some salad. What am I going to do with that? Rabbit food again. So I give her a five zero. So what did you think of Charlene's night? <laughs> I was positively starving. Oh, how can that little lass eat so little? I mean, God blimey. I like, I could have eaten that 4,000 times over and over and over and not even be the slightest bit full. Rubbish. Two. Our second host today is Clarissa. How you doing? I'm Clarissa and I'm an artist. And for my guests, I'm going to be making a delicious salad, pasta salad. Yeah, that's right. And for this salad, I'm going to add something a little bit different. So I've got this paprika and um, yeah I'll just put some of that in there delicious and also I'm going to put some seasoning salt in there yeah that'll be cool won't it yeah Clarissa's night. It was like disgusting. It was like rabbit food softened and oh has to be a six and three quarters because I give the three quarters because I quite liked her outfit. 
It was disgusting, basically. Ugh. Um, what did you think of Clarissa's night? Oh my golly aunt! I mean, I know we had, oh, it was a small portion of that. And like, oh, I was positively starving. I mean, how? How could they, could she survive on that little every day? I mean, oh my god. Two. Hello, oh, Glenn. How did you like Clarissa's meal? Clarissa? What, was that the one with the pasta? Right, I thought, no meat, what's with that? No meat, how am I meant to survive? Right, so, and no entertainment whatsoever, no dessert, no starters, that gives her a big fat zero. Host is Gary. Gary? Gary, wake up, wake <laughs> up, Gary. Um, so what are you going to be cooking for your guests tonight? Um, for the for the starter, we're going to have chocolate. Just plain, simple, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. What about for the main course? Well, but again, very simple, chocolate. I mean, who doesn't love the stuff? Yeah. You guessed it chocolate and then for the drink we're going to have orange juice mm. it's just to eat because it's like a calorie bowl and i'll i'll just pass mm, chocolate it's nice Chocolate in so long, I probably sh shouldn't. Uh. You got me a proper knife? And what did you think of Gary's night? All that fat. I mean, how did he expect me to eat that whole thing? I mean, I didn't even try it. Why would I do that to my body? Uh, it's gonna have to be six and three quarters. Mainly because he was quite funny, chatty, but could have been a lot better, so, yeah. I give Gary an 8 and 7 fifteenths, because he was lively company and such a jolly guy. So, Glenn, how did you like Gary's evening? Well, he gave me chocolate, and um, you know, right, I was okay with that, but still, um, no meat, no proper food, and... For that, also he's fat, I don't like him. For that, he gets a zero. Our last host for tonight is Glenn, the Viking. You alright? I'm going to be cooking some proper food. My guests have not seen this, right? Come here. For the main, we've got some British beef. Meatballs. And to eat this, I've got proper cutlery. Oh, eat them I raw. see your knife collection. Yeah, that's just a small part of it. Now, we're gonna have this, and they're gonna eat them raw. Cause that is how you eat them properly. That is how they <laughs> used to eat them. That's how they're gonna eat them now. And on the side, we're gonna have some nice raw broccoli. Drink proper water. Now I'm gonna go get changed, so I look responsible for my guests. Ready? Do I just help myself or? Mm. Healthy. And what did you think of Glenn's night? Oh my goodness. I mean, OMG, that was totes disgusting. Like, oh. I mean, he didn't even cook them. He didn't even get it out of the packet. I mean, any host can do that, surely. And he made me eat raw broccoli, which I do normally, but it was just different because, like, it's going to have to be six and three quarters for the broccoli. What did you think of 
Glenn's night. But, okay, well, <laughs> I think I'm going to give him an A in seventh day. <laughs> and what about Glenn's night? Gorgeous. But there was a tiny, tiny meatballs. I mean, I could have fit that down my throat in one. I mean, I could have eaten ten packets of them and just feel a tiny bit full. But no, only one packet for four people. I mean, that's about two each. I mean, oh my God. I mean, like, two. <laughs>